I don't know about you, but for me, I believe it gets tiring trying to do what is right, but at the same time, as it seems, it's like something is pushing back on you. So while you are trying to walk straight, walk forward, it's like something, you know, placing force back on you. Sometimes for myself, it gets tiring. There are some things I will do and I would not do. As it seems, some things that I would not do, as it seems, it comes to my mind to try to influence me to do it, which is so strange. I believe it is so strange. Then when it comes down to people, for some reason, unless I am really messed up myself, it seems like I get people who have attitude problems. Like that with some, did I say that right? Let me see. With some people, it seems like I am encountered with some who have attitude problems. And some of them take advantage of me. Like, I believe it was the other day I was thinking about a guy, what he did to me. You know, when you make a deal on something, uh, my Lord, I want to do what is right, but at the same time, I am, as it seems, I am met with resistance. Whether you know it or not, I am pretty much an introvert. You know, it may not seem it because I make YouTube videos and I may speak to some people about God, but originally I am introverted. I don't really mess with too many people. You know, if anything, there may be a small circle of people that I may contact. So if you know anything about introverts, I think mostly, from my understanding, I, I guess, and I may be wrong about this, I don't think introverts try to make trouble. Trouble for, I mean, trouble for people. You know, I think much of the time, an introvert wants to be somewhat alone, minding their own business and stuff of that matter. And mostly that is kind of how I am. But somehow, but somehow, I am encountered with these narcissists, like these self-absorbed people. And that may say, I am strange. I have a mind problem. I am this, I am that. But it's like, I believe some of them are reflecting upon themselves and putting it on me. Like whatever they have, they say that I have it. Kevin, you are this, but in truth, I believe they are that. Not to say that I am perfect. 
it is true god has been blessing me you know um i could pray for something and well let me not say that but um god has been blessing me he really has truly 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 has been looking out for me truly i would say when it comes down to my problems maybe my problems are out of 100 maybe 20 percent maybe at the most 30 percent maybe 20 between if i had to guess maybe between 20 and 30 and everything else is pretty much not to say perfect but okay pretty good but you know like for instance if you walk and you bump your head really hard on something yes the rest of your body may feel okay but your head is hurting so much so you may so even though everywhere else is okay just because your head got hit that may ruin your whole day or make your day much less comfortable if you understand what i mean by this as it seems we are placed on this earth to suffer i may not be suffering like someone in africa or someone in india or someone where is another poor area uh can't really think of it i think some people in china are suffering too i may not be suffering as badly as some people in those areas but it seems like and you may be going through this too like you may be wanting you may want to do what is right but as it seems you are met with resistance like you don't want to fornicate you don't want to commit adultery you don't want to get drunk you don't want to do those things and those things may not be really those things or more may not even be in your desire but it seems like if this is you it seems like you are tempted so much or influenced to want to do those things so much even though it is not your will for myself like strange things i guess it's not so much strange but whatever but stuff that i don't even want to do sometimes it comes to my mind And then when it comes down to and then not only that <laughs> my dreams so i have to fight to a particular degree when i am awake then i have to fight in my dreams like i have been having demonic dreams so i'm fighting in my fighting i guess i can use the word fighting but struggling i guess struggling with demonic forces in my sleep struggling with demonic forces when i am awake now you know for myself i am no stranger to demonic attacks no stranger to it no stranger to it do i like them do i want them more to come to my life of course not but i know that as long as i can keep on serving god stay encouraged never give up eventually the demonic attack will end 
then I may get a rest period, then something else may happen again. <laughs> or maybe I should not say happen again, but something else will happen. And that is how it is in my life as a Christian. Like, why can't we just have peace day in and day out? Why do we have to struggle with the demonic? Like, if there were no demons, I believe huh, there would probably be no sin. Probably no one or there would probably be less sin. Probably many people would sin less. I truly believe it because I am telling you, I am trying to do what is right. Like some people, one or more people, I guess I can say, took advantage of me. And I believe I am sure more people in the future will try or will take advantage of me. So what can I really do? And then a person say, you know, a person may say, well, that is life and blah, 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 blah. Yes, it may be life, but it seems like I have to take pain from people. So I have to take pain from people and not retaliate in a very bad way. You know, for instance, for an example, since you did this to me, I am going to do the same back to you. Now, we are not supposed to retaliate in, in a bad way, but we should just take it, right? And I guess it is, I guess it is easy to say just take it, but how can anyone be used to pain? Like, I think even if you get punched 100 times, I believe if someone punches you 100 times again, I believe it is going to hurt. So how can you get used to pain? You know, some people may see me as like, uh, I guess with a robot, you can push it down and stomp on it and break the arm and break this and break that. And I don't think the robot can register pain, but I am no robot. I am no android i'm not sure if androids can feel pain i am no android you know i think some people may think i have no feelings i may not act don't get me wrong sometimes i do what is wrong i may not act aggressively How can I say this? I may not act aggressively a lot. I may not yell a lot. I may not, you know, do a lot of foolish things a lot, but even though I may not do those things a lot, it doesn't mean that I don't feel pain. It doesn't mean I don't feel anger. It doesn't mean that I don't cry and feel depressed. I have feelings. And some people may say, oh, Kevin is nice. You know, I can do this to him and do that to him. And chances are he is not really going to say anything back. But so with me showing restraint, are you using that as an occasion to take advantage of me? Even though I still hurt, I may not see nothing, 
but I still feel pain. I still do. I want to be more like Jesus Christ. So even if I may not act foolishly as another, it doesn't mean what this person did or whatever doesn't affect me. Yes, I do ask God to heal me. Yes, I do ask God to take away anger and stuff like that. If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, as you can see, I am just an ordinary person. I may have been living for God for maybe longer than you, maybe, but I am a regular person with feelings. And as you can see, living for Jesus Christ isn't, isn't, isn't easy for me. It, it, it is not. It's not. Living for God is not easy for me. But I have some experience. I know if I go back to sin as in like, of course we are going to do things that are wrong. But when I say go back to sin, meaning just give up on Jesus and, and go to that lifestyle. I know if I do that, it is not going to turn out well for me. I know that from, from experience. I know it from experience. So I know I have to hold on to God, whether I am hurting, crying, angry, or whatever. I know I have to hold on to Jesus Christ no matter what, because trying, trying to do it my own way absent of Jesus Christ, I know it is not going to work. I know it. But as I stated, I am a nobody. I am, I guess, average. You see, or you may hear some things I am going through, but and what I am going through may be similar to what you are going through. So if I can try to do what is right, you can as well. Can't you? Look at me. I have to fight to do what is right. It does not come easy. It doesn't. Do you think it is easy to take someone's wrong criticism of you? Telling you that you are this, you are that, you did this, and they are wrong. But you take it because you want to keep the peace. Do you think that is easy? Do you think it is easy for someone to take advantage of me and I, and not do something evil back do you think that is easy so as you can see i have to hold myself back which i am not saying i am perfect so if I have to hold myself back, if I have to die to myself each day, you have to as well. Living for Jesus Christ is no candy show, as in something very easy all the time. It is not easy. It is not easy. I am telling you, if you want Jesus Christ, 
I believe you have to constantly seek him, constantly run after him, constantly reach out for him. Yes. Some people may say, well, if Jesus wants us saved, then it should be easy. It is not. It is not. To stay in Jesus Christ, you have to fight for him. Meaning, like, you have to pray so much. You have to seek him so much. Listen to teachings so much. Like, do things of him to constantly be in communication with him so much. It is not that... It is not that you can sit on your behind and maybe pray one minute every three weeks and believe that things are going to be simple for you. No way. You have to fight. You have to strive. You have to go pretty much in so many ways against yourself for Jesus Christ. I am trying to tell you. He is no easy catch. I hope this makes sense. I am struggling. I am. I may be doing better than some. Some may be doing better than me. But it is a fight to stay with Jesus Christ. I am trying to tell you. Some people may say, I think you are wrong, Kevin, you know, because this scripture here, this scripture there, maybe you are interpreting those scriptures wrong. It is a fight. It is a fight. I know it because I have been in so many demonic attacks, so many, maybe not as bad as some, but still demonic attacks. Especially with what is going on now. Like, I think this is maybe one of the largest things I have been in, maybe, or close to it. Okay, let me stop here. May God bless you.